Good evening, faith friends. It's Kathy with Bodybuilder Ministry. To all of my Harvest of Health peeps, I wanted to jump on real quick, and I'm so sorry that I did not let you guys know that I was going to um, do this live. This is not going to be what you were looking for today or expecting, so um, I am wanting to let you know kind of an update about some things. So, hey, Danielle, thanks for joining. I um, First of all, I want to apologize that I, I told you guys that we would do a live this morning. We get the vlog done for today, this morning, before I left to go out of town, and that did not happen, and so I apologize for that. Um, I also wanted to thank you for the grace <laughs> to be able to, um, let's not do one today. Um, you see, I have been a person who would be just driven, 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 um, many, many, many years of my life, way too many years of my life, I um, would be driven by pressure, outside pressures and everything. But you know what? It is okay to step outside the box. It's okay in situations like this. Like, we're still going to do our 30 days, but guess what? There is no point in me um, stressing and stretching and pressing and feeling crushed um, trying to do what I promised because I promised what we're going to do today. Um, if it's not there for me for right now, then I don't need to push and press and try to make it happen because the enemy loves when we do that, when we try to do things in our flesh and we try to do things, um, but I kept, but I have to keep my promise. I have to keep my word. I have to this, I have to that. But the truth is I have not felt well today. Um, <laughs> what's wrong with my voice? I woke up like this, this morning. I've traveled all day today and I also have felt like somebody has beat me up with a baseball bat today. So you guys can pray for me and, um, I just appreciate you extending the grace that you have to me thus far um, to do this. And I believe that we will be able to get back on track tomorrow. I am out of town, and I, but I still believe that I'm going to have some time that I'm going to be able to um, be just spend with the Lord and see what he has for us tomorrow. And so I'm looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to feeling better tomorrow, feeling more like myself. But um, the encouragement, the word of encouragement I want to share for you tonight. If you have ever battled with perfectionism or approval addiction or people pleasing or fear of man or what if, what if, what if, well, I have to do this because I said I would or you feel pushed and pressed by, um, by just by the world and by people and by the culture and the society that we're in um, to, you know, I got to keep my promise. I have to keep my word. I have to this. Well, you know, you're not going to be any good to anybody if you don't take care of yourself first and that was a lesson that's very very hard for me to learn that was a hard pill for me to swallow for a long time in my life but I have learned that rest is best in times of test or stress um, and and I've learned a very important acronym for rest and that is resist every stress-filled temptation. So if you are under any stress or pressure today, I want you to know that the very best thing you can do for you is rest. And if you're not feeling well or feeling your best in your physical body today, I want you to know, I want to encourage you, it's okay to step aside, to step out of the rest of where everybody else is at, and it's not being selfish for you to shut the door and say, Hey guys, I'm not feeling my best. I'm going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to get a little rest right now. That's what's best for me and I'm going to feel better tomorrow. And it's okay to do that. And that's been a hard lesson for me to learn because I battled. The enemy would want me to feel like I was being selfish and everything, but that's not being selfish. And so um, I've learned that, that these are bodies. We know we've learned through this study, they are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And it is so important that we take care of them. We have to get some rest and take good care of our bodies and everything. And so that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. And um, you know what else I'm going to be doing? It's going to be fun. Are you ready? I'm going to show you a picture. So I'm out of town. Um, I've arrived and I'm at this really super cool condo and y'all look what's right in there you see that there's a beautiful orchid sitting on the back of a gorgeous hot tub and it's got my name on it 
it's inside my bedroom, and I'm about to go get in that thing with some um, Epsom salt with some peppermint oil, and I am going to feel like a hundred bucks better tomorrow morning when I wake up because I'm gonna get a really good night's sleep tonight, and um, we're gonna we're gonna go back and we're gonna start again tomorrow. So no nobody worry about whether or not we're gonna get our thirty days. We're still gonna get our thirty days, I promise. And this is not counting as one of them. This is just the uh, bonus along the way, if you will. Um, if you could call it that, but um, I am going to feel better in the morning in the name of Jesus and any of you that may be feeling poorly in your bodies today, let's just pray right now and we'll come together because two or more gathered in, um, <clears throat> in Jesus' name. We know that he's there in their midst and when we agree um, as any two, we know that it, it, it's done. So let's just pray right now one for another and um, encourage one another in that. So oh, I just pray. The Father God, I bless your name. I thank you so much for this group and for these wonderful, wonderful people. Lord, I'm so blessed by these friends and, and family. Lord, we're just, we are family. We're many members in one body and it's your body. And I thank you for the body of Christ, Lord. And I thank you that we can pray one for, for another. And Lord, that any of us that may not feel well in our bodies today, Lord, we just, just, just declare by faith that wholeness belongs to us. We say, Lord, that we are made whole. Today is the day that we are made whole. Sickness and infirmity, pain and suffering cannot stay in our bodies because Jesus paid the price for us to be made whole. And so we receive that in our bodies today. We do our part, which is stepping aside and being okay with taking some time to rest taking um, whatever medication we need to take. We call it blessed and sanctified. We thank you, Lord, for your word and how you've taught us that it's okay when we have to do these things that we, as long as we thank you for it and we call it sanctified and set apart and we, we command our bodies to accept the good and to reject the bad. And um, we thank you, Father, that these things are temporal. This is just but light affliction, Lord, and they're very tense, a very temporary thing. It didn't come to stay. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It did not come to stay. It came to pass. So, Father, I bless you and I praise your name for that today and, and for that promise. We stand on it, Lord. And So, I just speak rest today. I speak rest, Lord, over our group and anywhere that anybody's feeling pushed and pressed and crushed and in any ways that there's stress there, Lord, I speak peace peace over our minds, peace over our emotions, Lord. May we be at peace in our bodies to be able to sleep and rest tonight in Jesus' name, to, to um, whatever sleep it is that we are able to get tonight, Father. I thank you that something supernatural happens in our bodies while we're resting and sleeping tonight, Lord, and that, that um, we are refreshed tomorrow morning. We wake up and we are refreshed as if we've gotten an eight to ten hour night's sleep. And I just praise you for that, Father. I thank you for keeping everyone safe. The Lord, as there's bad weather coming, I thank you for your hand of mercy and protection upon us all, and and I um, thank you for the grace, Father, that I am encountering from this group even now, and that, that everybody is okay with us just having a day of rest. I thank you, Lord, that we receive it as grace and a day to kind of catch up if we, any of us need to catch up or anything, or go back and reread or whatever, that we can just soak in your word, and so... I just praise you, Lord, for all these things now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I love y'all so much. And yes, I am going to go get in that beautiful hot tub. And I'm going to be looking at that orchid. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest. Yes, rest in that tub. Hey, Nancy, thanks for jumping on. Sweet Cindy. Hey, my Suzanne. Lynn. Hey, my Lynn. Oh, I'm not going to be there Sunday morning, Lynn, by the way. Y'all Y'all be praying. Okay, girl. And um, Sarah Michelle, hi, I don't think I've met you before. My name's Kathy, and I'm so glad you're here. Um, come back and join us another day. And Danielle, you're on here. So I love you guys all so much. Thanks for jumping on and watching. And I'm so, um, I want to apologize if I've disappointed or let you down in any way. But, but I just hear Father saying, no, just receive the grace that it's okay. It's okay. Um, and so I just say to all of us, peace in Jesus' name. We just be at, we're just all going to be at peace, and it's all going to be okay. So tomorrow will be a brand new day, and I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna, um, I am out of town, like I said, so I believe I can. I think that this is a safe and quiet room. I, this was another thing I was kind of testing the waters tonight, because it's there's people all over in here, and I thought, okay, well, 
it, what if I go in there and everybody starts coming in? I don't know how this is going to work. So this seems to be a pretty good spot. I think I'll I'll try to um, teach from here tomorrow. So I'm excited and looking forward to that. It's supposed to be pouring down rain. So there's also a fireplace here, y'all. So I would love to snuggle up by the fireplace and, and teach from there. Maybe I could do that one day while I was here, too. That would be fun. Um, all right. Well, I love you all. And I'm going to say good night now. And um, y'all have a good night's sleep. And I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye. Can't turn it off.